A few months ago, I made a video on EDC screwdrivers. It would go on to be my most viewed video ever. And one of the screwdrivers that we talked about that you could put in your pocket was this. This is the Fix-It Sticks. And it comes in a nice little setup with a total of 12 plus four, 16 bits. And I gotta say, it really impressed me with how it functioned and just how compact and well thought through it was. What I didn't realize at the time is that Fix-It Sticks also has a ratcheting version of the exact same kit with even a few other little added upgrades. So today we're gonna talk about this kit and do a few comparisons as well. Before we dig into the new kit, I first wanna point out some things that I missed on the original design. So when we did that video, it was still very popular, but there were some things that the manufacturer mentioned to me and I think I should pass on. So these end holes on this holder here and here uh, were very speculated on as far as what they were for. Now, some people thought maybe that allows the handle itself to be a secondary screwdriver. And I do think that would be a great idea, by the way. And I think maybe they should incorporate it at some point, but that's not what they are. They are designed to hold, however, bits for the express purpose of letting you carry something that doesn't fit in the 12 slots in right here. Basically, what you're, well, the problem is, is if the end is wider than a quarter inch hex, it's not gonna fit. So this gives you two slots for that. You got one on this side and one on this side. So you could probably fit a quarter inch to um, quarter inch socket, as well as a quarter inch hex to half inch socket on this side. That would give it even more functionality or maybe a quarter inch to four millimeter adapter. Either way you look at it, it's just improving its overall capability. Now, with the ratchet driver, version it's very similar it has one fewer bits because it does not have a secondary bit on the back of the extender however it does also have more reach so let me do a quick comparison with that real quick so you can see it definitely comes out further than the other version and that could be really good. It also has a nice tapered section, so it's not gonna to be too wide, should get into small spaces really well. This missing one bit here, however, it comes with this unusual attachment stuck in the end. So this is a prying tool, which also has some wrench adapter set up. Now, I'm not 100% sure exactly how they want this to be used. But my guess is that you want it to stick into the end like so, and then you can use it to pry open something. And the angle on this is pretty steep, so it kind of makes sense to me why you would use it for that purpose. And actually, there's a benefit here to having this cut out. You can actually put, like say, a, a um, nail in there and actually use it to pry up that nail as well. So pretty useful little addition. And if I didn't want to carry a dedicated prying implement in my kit, this may suffice. I haven't really used it much, but I'd rather have it than not. And the fact that they include it is really, really nice. So that's stuck in there. And while we're, while we're talking about it, oh wait, it goes all the way through. While we're talking about it, unlike this kit, which has the slots to put these in, if you take the same bit and stick it in the other end, it kind of passes all the way through, right? So that's about the first it, time it engages, and you can see it's kind of buried in. The only problem, it will absolutely carry a spare bit. The problem is, is that you're going to struggle to get it out. So this is one downside I did find with this kit. If you stick that in there, you're gonna to have to open up a pair of pliers and uh, yeah, pull it out from there. So that's something that you might have to keep in mind. It will probably, though, work with much longer bits to store, store in there. So that's not even a bad thing. This is an example that I'm using right now. This is actually a uh, utility blade holder with a hex driver. It was part of an old kit. It's made in aluminum, 
but this kit should actually work and you can actually stick it in the bottom there like so. And then, funny enough, you could use this as a handle for a scalpel blade because it doesn't require it to actually twist. So funny enough, that actually might make sense for this particular setup, although not stored with blades, but you get the idea. So that is the side pieces. You can see that it's definitely going to be wider than the original design and it has a pass through. So it's definitely different in that regard. And I have to say they did improve the selection of bits as in my opinion as well. So this goes from, is it T? I think it, the, the lowest this goes is a T10. It goes from a T10 to a T30, right? But this one goes from a T6 to a T25 on one side. And then on this side, it has, this one has a whole bunch of different um, hex bits as well as a Phillips. So I just feel like in many ways, I prefer the setup on the new version a little bit more. You have um, metric here, three, four, and five millimeter. You have two Phillips head screwdrivers, one flathead, which I didn't see here. And you also have the T6, T8, which is really, really, really useful if you're doing maintenance on something like a knife, for instance. It also has in the ends, it has three thirty seconds. It has five thirty seconds of an inch, as well as where's the last one? This is five sixty fourths. So you have imperial, you have metric, you have multiple size Phillips and flathead. This is a very good combination of bits. Is what I'm basically trying to say here. I think better than the original, but you can see the thoughtfulness here. There are larger options, larger uh, drivers in the fixed version versus the ratcheting version. That kind of makes a little bit of sense, actually, because you're going to be able to put a lot more torque on something that is solid like this versus a ratcheting driver. So they told me that the they used were tested successfully without any issues up to around 18 to 20 um, foot pounds of torque which is more than enough when you're applying it by hand. Um, you definitely don't want to extend the leverage arm on this and then try to apply a lot more torque. What I do like about the way this is set up though, is that by having a T-handle, if you need to apply more torque than that and you need to have the leverage, you stick it in one of these two sides and then you can really crank down. So you have both, you have both options. You don't have to just um, find another tool. And I really think that's good to have in what is supposed to be a, a really condensed kit. So really well done in that regard. Honestly, I am very impressed. Uh, I've gotten to use it a little bit and it works exactly as I would expect for a ratchet. I think the real benefit, the real uh, reason why you might want to consider it is how this kit is organized and how easy it is to throw in a bag, carry with you, and so on. That's really the big advantage here. You can get bigger kits like this one, which I've reviewed, the Icon Ratchet system, which is going to have more bits, but it's not quite, and this is very convenient, but it's not quite as compact as either of these two systems. And when you're when space matters, I think these are a good option. I also want to say that a T-handle for a ratchet is going to work a lot better on items that you need to be precise with. In other words, let's say you're working on a scope mount or a very small screw that you cannot afford to strip. Putting that direct pressure straight down as you're ratcheting is going to keep the threads from stripping or walking on you. And that's not something you want to have happen. You may not be able to afford that mistake. So having something that pushes down directly behind where it's turning makes a lot of sense. So I think they did a really good job with this. Um, I don't have much more to say about it. I have a lot more testing to do. It's going to end up going with me in a lot of 
my actual daily bags as a screwdriver because it has a lot of different things going for it and it puts it all in one place. And I also feel like this is a kit that's simple enough everyone can figure it out, right? It's It really is just the right size and functionality. Anyway, that's it. This is our look at the Fix It Sticks Ratchet. I will put a link to this. I think the it's not available on Amazon, but it is directly from their website. So thanks for watching and we'll talk again soon.